What up, everybody? It's your boy, Sack the King, up in this motherfucker, man. And yes, as you can read from the title, Kodak Black is a clown, and he let all the real niggas down, man. But before I get all into that, man, uh, what I need y'all to do is hit that subscribe button below so you can be the first to know, and you can help the channel grow, man. Now, this is uh, Sack the King TV, the realest channel on motherfucking YouTube, because I'm going to give it to you raw and uncut and straight from the gut. You dig what I'm saying, man? Yeah. Uh, but Kodak Black, Kodak Black, Kodak Black. Now, as y'all can see in the thumbnail to this shit, uh, this nigga done jumped all the way off the porch, man. And I don't mean that in a good way. I mean that in a way of that nigga's way over there on the other side now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hanging out with snitches and rats and shit. You feel what I'm saying? And other clowns like Whack 100. That's a whole nother story. But anyways, man, let's get on to this 6 9 topic. This nigga is over here shooting music videos with 6 9 a known rat. A nigga who portrayed to be a blood, and when some real shit happened, he ratted on the whole motherfucking gang and got these niggas football numbers. Now, I know y'all probably watching this and going to be like, oh, well, Sack, well, they was fucking his girl. Oh, Sack, well, they were trying to extort him out of money. Hey, guess what, man? That's what come with the streets. You feel me? Ain't nobody said the streets was fair. That's why you don't need to be in the streets. You dig what I'm saying? That's why you need to be, if you're in the streets, you need to be making a way to be out of the streets. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm a street nigga, but I'm not in the streets. You feel what I'm saying? But that doesn't stop me from living by street code as far as not wanting to be around snitches and rats. You feel what I'm saying? And Kodak Black is a... Uh, portraying to be this big time street nigga this zo you know what i'm saying zo pound and all that shit hey you let the zo pound down my nigga you feel me you are not supposed to be hanging out with rats and roaches like six nine and clowns like motherfucking uh whack 100 but it doesn't surprise me though and i'm gonna tell you why it doesn't surprise me because we've already seen him hang out with another clown donald trump you feel me? We've already seen how much dick sucking he's done for Donald Trump because Donald Trump let him out of jail. OK, uh, Donald Trump is a fucking cornball and a crook his damn motherfucking self. You feel what I'm saying? So it doesn't surprise me. But then Kodak Black keeps going back to jail and keeps getting let out for all these charges. And I'm starting to wonder how, how and why now? Oh, I see. Because you're fucking with the feds, nigga. You're fucking with rats. You fucking with certified rats, known, brave, proud snitches like 6ix9ine, my nigga. You feel me? And like I said, let me rewind it back a little bit. Niggas is going to be like, oh, well, they was doing this to 6ix9ine. That. Hey, bro, once you jump off in these streets, once you start claiming a gang and all that other shit, all that other shit goes out the window, bro. You got to come. You got to take the good with the bad. He was taking the good, you know what I'm saying, as far as uh, motherfuckers uh giving him passes and promoting him and and giving him protection to be a part of the gang you was riding that coattail right but all of a sudden when some real shit happens and you was out here doing real shit and and you know putting money on niggas and all that other good shit then you want to fold like some motherfucking origami when when the shit hit the fan bro and i cannot respect that i will never respect that shit out of self-proclaimed street niggas you feel what i'm saying I, kodak black i do not respect that nigga no more yeah you got a couple cool songs you feel what i'm saying but nigga you have just like like is your credibility worth it is your street street credit worth it is your like nigga is your morals Worth it? Like, now we're living in an age where niggas' morals, street credibility, and reputation can be bought for a price. Because obviously 6 9 paid for that feature. You feel me? And and I know y'all going to say, but suck. what if he gave you this money? Hey, man, ain't no amount of money worth me looking like a clown to street niggas or any other type of person that I'm associated with. You know what I mean? If my morals... Don't agree with that shit. If my personal, that's just like saying I'm not a gay person, but I don't have nothing against gay people, but I'm not a gay person. But that's just to say, if somebody offered me five million dollars, I would do a gay porn scene or something like no, bro, that shit goes against my morals, just like snitching goes against my morals. Now, if you just an average person watching this, a civilian or whatever, you know, what I'm saying, OK, it's cool for you to have your opinion, but your opinion is null and void here on this YouTube channel where the realest 
live in the realists come to get their information. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, because you're a civilian. So if you call the cops and you snitch on somebody, that's not snitching. That's that's you doing your civil duty as a civilian. If you ain't in the streets, this is not for you. If you come from the streets and you claim to be, even if you're not in the streets and you still a street nigga, because you don't have to be in the streets to be a street nigga, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? There's there, just like you don't have to be in the active military to still be a part of the military family. You 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 gonna be a veteran. You feel me? So niggas who ain't in the streets who are still street niggas and and transform their life like I have outside of the streets. Hey man, we just some street vets. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm still living by the code of not being a snitch and not being associated with snitches and not dealing with snitches. And it's not because I'm, I'm still in the streets. It's just because I have personal morals about myself. I'm not snitching. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Hanging around those snitches. I, I'm not gay. I'm not doing, involving myself in none of that shit like that. And it's other shit I can go on the list, but this is two main things that street niggas ain't supposed to be involved with homosexuals and motherfucking snitches. You feel what I'm saying? Now, when I say involved with homosexuals, I mean not not having friends or family members that you that you hang. With. I'm talking about engaging in that type of activity. All right. So let me make that clear because I got gay people in my family, too, and nothing's going to stop me from fucking having dinner with my family. I'm saying engaging in that type of lifestyle, engaging in those type of activities. That's a no, no. You feel me? Whether whether you're still in the streets or not, if you're claiming to be a street nigga, that's a no, no. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, also snitches and being around snitches. That's a no, no. Like, so, so that what that says and what that proves is that Kodak Black never had any real street morals about himself. His, his morals are for sale. His street reputation is for sale. Everything for that nigga is for sale now. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, I ain't gonna spend too much time on this, but Kodak Black, bruh, your, your G stripes is gone to me, bruh. You, you were like, I can't consider you no street nigga no more. I don't give a fuck. How much street shit you, I don't give a fuck how many pistols you get caught with tomorrow, bruh. Like, like, all it takes is one time. All it takes, hey, we used to have this saying in, back in the army, uh, one fuck up could fuck up a thousand attaboys. You know what I'm saying? One, one mess up can mess up a thousand attaboys. It, don't let that go over your head. But that's the case in here. Like, we don't give a fuck how much street shit you did before now, Kodak Black. That shit is null and void when you over here associating with, hanging with, and taking money from rats. You might as well be on the federal payroll your damn self. And who's to say that you ain't? And I see why Jack Boy's not fucking with you no more. And I see why Boosie is speaking out against you. And hopefully others ain't going to give you no pass with this shit either because of your fame or because they want to work with you or, or any of that other goofy shit because they're just as much of fucking clowns too. This nigga 6 9 needs to be blackballed from our community as, a po as, as in hip hop. You feel what I'm saying? As in rap, as in gangster rap. And you over here opening the back door for that nigga to come back in. Like, nigga, you're a clown. And you let all the real street niggas down, man. Y'all niggas know what to do, man. Hit that subscribe button below so you can be the first to know you can help the channel grow. And, yeah, this is officially the realest channel on motherfucking YouTube. Because all these other channels are going to give it to you watered down. And come over here for that raw and uncut. Spread the word, man. And make sure you hit that Instagram and follow me on Instagram in the in the uh, little picture above this video, man. It's your boy, Zach the King, and I'm out.